Beetlejuice, the red supergiant star located on Orion's shoulder, has recently captured the attention of astronomers due to some unusual activity. Its brightness has suddenly increased by more than 50%, surpassing its typical luminosity. At the beginning of the year, Betelgeuse was the 10th brightest star in our night sky, but this unexpected brightening has propelled it to the 7th spot. Could the ongoing surge in brightness signal the imminent eruption of Betelgeuse? And if so, how would the spectacle of a supernova in our cosmic backyard unfold? Betelgeuse is an enormous star approaching the end of its life cycle. Its immense size is such that if it were to replace the Sun, it would extend beyond the orbit of Mars, encompassing the entire region including the asteroid belt. Eventually, Betelgeuse will undergo a dramatic event known as a supernova, where it will collapse and explode. But when can we expect the supernova explosion of Betelgeuse to occur? According to Jared Goldberg, an astrophysicist at the Flatiron Institute in New York City, we know that Betelgeuse will explode soon, but soon is sometime within the next 10,000 to 100,000 years. Although the star is not expected to explode within our lifetime, scientists remain intrigued by the possibility of its supernova event. The reason why astronomers are particularly excited about Betelgeuse's future supernova is the extraordinary spectacle it will create. Positioned approximately 650 light years away, we humans have a prime vantage point to witness this cosmic event. When the supernova occurs, it will generate a remarkable display of light. Initially, a surge of neutrinos will reach Earth, detectable by observatories worldwide. Shortly after, Betelgeuse will exponentially brighten over the course of a week, potentially reaching up to 100,000 times its usual brightness. According to Goldberg, what we would see is Betelgeuse getting really bright, like 10,000 to 100,000 times brighter than it normally is, on a time scale of a week. This point of light could be as luminous as the full moon and might even be visible during the day, casting distinct shadows at night. The extraordinary brightness will persist for an extended period, granting astronomers an unprecedented opportunity to conduct detailed observations and potentially make groundbreaking discoveries. While the historical association of supernovae with bad omens may stir speculation and concern, we can rest assured that we are at a safe distance from any harmful effects. To truly grasp the ongoing mystery surrounding Betelgeuse, we need to revisit the end of 2019. It was during this time that the star began displaying peculiar behavior. Betelgeuse started to dim significantly, even noticeable to the naked eye. Images taken by the Very Large Telescope revealed that the star appeared roughly symmetrical in the optical spectrum, but the photospheric layers exhibited signs of a significant shock along our line of sight. The star's photosphere, which is its outer shell emitting light, began to expand noticeably. Observations from Earth revealed that Betelgeuse appeared to be swelling up, exhibiting a constant rate of expansion of approximately 8 kilometers per second for most of the year until mid-November 2019. However, the situation took an unexpected turn when, by mid-November 2019, the outward velocity of the star's expansion started to decrease, eventually coming to a halt. Astronomers took advantage of this development to capture optical images of Betelgeuse, only to discover two intriguing anomalies. Firstly, they observed a previously unseen dark southern hemisphere on the star, creating a stark contrast compared to images taken earlier in the year. Secondly, there was a notable dip in the star's surface temperature, which had dropped by approximately 80 Kelvin. Between January 27th and February 13th, 2020, the brightness of Betelgeuse reached an unprecedented low, marking almost a year since the onset of the expansion event. Following this phase, the star began to brighten once again, gradually returning to its normal magnitude over the course of a few months. The question remained. What had actually occurred with Betelgeuse? The accumulated evidence pointed towards an extraordinary phenomenon known as a surface mass ejection, SME, a term coined to describe an eruption of star-sized proportions. Inside Betelgeuse, material surged upward and outward, generating shock waves within the star's atmosphere, akin to a volcanic eruption on a stellar scale. As a result, this material coalesced into molecules and dust, partially obstructing our view of the star and causing it to appear dimmer. The surface mass ejection from Betelgeuse was unparalleled in magnitude compared to typical events observed on other stars or even coronal mass ejections, CMEs, witnessed on the Sun. 
it expelled a staggering 400 billion times more mass than these occurrences, surpassing the mass of the moon several times over and at remarkable speeds. The scientific community was astounded as they had never witnessed such an immense mass ejection originating from a star's surface before. This unprecedented event provided an extraordinary opportunity to directly observe and study the surface details of Betelgeuse using instruments like the Hubble Space Telescope. Essentially, we were privileged to witness stellar evolution, the aging process of a dying star unfolding in real time. The surface mass ejection had a profound impact on Betelgeuse, leading to a significant loss of mass in a single event. This level of mass loss demonstrated that a dying star could shed a substantial amount of mass compared to its annual loss due to stellar wind. It's like Betelgeuse blew off its top and is now slowly recovering from the injury. However, this incident has led to a change in the star's behavior. Previously, Betelgeuse exhibited pulsations or variations in brightness every 400 days. But now, it pulsates every 200 days, signifying a notable shift in its regular pattern. As a semi-regular variable star, Betelgeuse undergoes cycles of fluctuating brightness caused by alterations in its size and temperature. It is known to have two primary periods of light pulsation. The first, lasting 400 days, is attributed to pulsations in the fundamental mode. The origin of the second, longer period of approximately 5.6 years remains a mystery. To gain a deeper understanding of these phenomena, researchers employed computer simulations. They proposed that an exceptionally hot gas current, akin to a large and scorching bubble, emerged from within the star. These occurrences of hot gas bubbles are occasional manifestations arising from the star's turbulent and convective envelope, analogous to a boiling pot of soup where materials continuously move and mix. The eruption of this hot bubble disrupted the regular pulsation of the star and resulted in the ejection of stellar material. While the surface of Betelgeuse expanded, the deeper regions simultaneously contracted, deviating from the star's usual 400-day pulse and adopting a new pulsation period of 200 days. Astronomers anticipate that over the next 5 to 10 years, the star's regular motions will gradually restore its typical pulsation, reverting Betelgeuse to its customary 400-day pulse. Scientists speculate that Betelgeuse, based on its color, brightness, size, and estimated age, is currently undergoing the initial phases of helium to carbon fusion. As this fusion process advances, the star will proceed through subsequent fusion stages involving oxygen, silicon, and ultimately iron. The duration of this progression is estimated to range from 10,000 to 100,000 years. Ultimately, the star's core will yield to its own gravitational forces, resulting in a cataclysmic explosion known as a supernova. Given Betelgeuse's distance of 650 light years, any supernova event occurring now would only become visible to us after 650 years, accounting for the constraints imposed by the speed of light. Therefore, it is highly unlikely that we will witness the dramatic demise of Betelgeuse during our lifetime. One remarkable aspect of Betelgeuse is its visibility at the surface level, which sets it apart from most other stars. This unique characteristic provides an extraordinary opportunity to study the behavior of aging massive stars like Betelgeuse, including the occurrence of unexpected mass ejections. That's all we have for you in this episode. We hope you found it valuable. If you enjoyed it, we would really appreciate a thumbs up from you. And don't forget to share it with your friends. If you're hungry for more amazing content like this, why not hit that subscribe button and join our community? We'd love to have you with us for future videos. Thanks for watching and stay curious.